Mars, the red planet, has long captured our imagination as a potential new home for humanity. Its dusty, rust-colored deserts, massive volcanoes, and ancient valleys make it one of the most fascinating places in our solar system. But beyond the stunning images and exciting headlines, what would it really be like to live on Mars? Living on Mars isn't just putting on a spacesuit and walking on red soil. It means dealing with harsh realities, long-term survival, and learning how to build a new world from almost nothing. From the dangerous journey through deep space to the daily struggle of creating food, air, and water, today we'll explore what life on Mars might truly look like and what it would take to make it a reality. One, the journey to Mars. Before we can live on Mars, we must first get there. And that alone is one of the biggest challenges humanity has ever faced. The trip takes about seven months, sometimes longer, depending on the alignment between Earth and Mars. During this time, the spacecraft becomes a tiny moving island the only protection astronauts have against the emptiness of space. Radiation space between Earth and Mars is filled with dangerous cosmic rays. Without Earth's magnetic field, astronauts face higher risks of cancer, radiation sickness, and long-term tissue damage. Spacecraft need advanced shielding made from water, hydrogen-rich materials, or protective storm shelters. Limited supplies everything. Food, oxygen, medical equipment, spare parts must be carried from Earth. Astronauts rely heavily on recycling systems to reuse water and filter air. In a small ship causes muscle loss, weak bones, sleep problems, and psychological stress. Exercise machines, rotating modules for artificial gravity, and mental health support are essential. Traveling to Mars is dangerous, slow, and extremely expensive, but it's the first step toward a new world. Two, building habitats. Once humans arrive, they must create shelters capable of keeping them alive in an environment that is deadly from the moment they step outside. 3D printed habitats. Robots could melt Martian soil, regal it, and print strong walls directly on Mars. These structures would be thick enough to block radiation and withstand small meteor impacts. Inflatable domes. These could be transported, folded, and expanded on Mars. After inflation, they would need to be covered with soil to increase radiation protection. Underground shelters. Mars has natural lava tubes, huge underground tunnels formed by ancient volcanic activity. These tunnels might become the safest places to build the first Martian cities, providing natural protection from radiation, dust storms, and temperature swings. Habitats must include air recycling, removing CO2, adding oxygen, water purification, waste management and temperature control, backup power systems, shielding from micrometeorites. Everything needs redundancy. If one system fails, human lives are at risk instantly. Three, surviving on Mars. Survival on Mars means turning the planet's limited resources into usable ones. Water could be extracted from ice beneath the surface. Food would be grown inside greenhouses using hydroponics or aeroponics, where crops grow without soil. Oxygen could be produced either from the electrolysis of water or directly from the carbon dioxide rich Martian atmosphere using technology like NASA's MOXIE experiment. Four, the Martian environment. Mars is beautiful, but brutal. Its thin atmosphere, mostly carbon dioxide, provides almost no protection from radiation and cannot support human breathing. Temperatures can plunge to minus 125 degrees Celsius at night even near the equator. The planet is also home to massive dust storms that can last for months, covering the entire world in swirling red dust. To explore the surface, settlers will need advanced suits, pressurized vehicles, and constant monitoring of weather and radiation levels. 
5. Terraforming Mars One of humanity's long-term dreams is terraforming Mars, slowly transforming it into a more Earth-like planet. Scientists imagine thickening its atmosphere by releasing greenhouse gases to warm the planet, melting the ice caps to create flowing water, and introducing microbes that could produce oxygen. But terraforming would be an incredibly slow process, taking centuries or even millennia. For now, it remains a distant vision, inspiring but far from our current capabilities. 6. Building a Martian Society Life on Mars would eventually grow beyond survival. Early colonies would be small research bases, but with time, they could develop into full communities. This new society would need systems of governance, resource management, education, and social structure. The daily challenges of isolation, limited resources, and harsh conditions would shape a unique culture one built on cooperation, resilience, and innovation. Seven, the psychological challenges. Life on Mars is not only physically demanding, it's mentally demanding too. Isolation, confinement, and the lack of natural environments can affect mental health over time. Settlers may rely on virtual reality simulations of Earth, regular communication with loved ones, recreation, and structured routines to maintain emotional well-being a strong sense of community will be essential. Eight, the benefits of living on Mars. Despite the challenges, Mars offers extraordinary opportunities. Scientists could unlock clues about ancient climates, geology, and possibly even life. Mars also contains valuable resources that could support future exploration, and most importantly, a self-sustaining settlement on Mars could become a backup for humanity, a second home in case Earth ever faces a catastrophic event. 9. The Future of Mars Colonization The dream of settling Mars is closer than ever. NASA, SpaceX, and other space agencies are actively planning future missions, developing spacecraft and technologies needed for human exploration. Within the coming decades, the first human footprints may mark the beginning of a new chapter in our history, one where humanity becomes a multi-planet species. Living on Mars is no longer just a science fiction fantasy. With determination, technology, and global effort, the Red Planet could one day become humanity's next great frontier. If you enjoyed this journey into the future, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more explorations of science, space, and the mysteries beyond Earth.